Today I'm going to be sharing why exactly I started reading and some of the mistakes I made along the way and why I think everyone should start reading. So I remember when I was in year 11 and we were reading, you know, a book to the class in English and the teacher was going around and asking people to read a chapter or a few pages and I was dreading it. I was like, oh no, no. Don't pick me, don't pick me, please don't pick me. And of course the teacher did pick me and I was like, oh my God, I have to read now. And I started trying to read and nothing made sense. Like I could just tell that my face was getting red and I was super nervous reading and half the words, I got a sentence in and I couldn't even finish the sentence and the tricky words I couldn't even pronounce and I just felt totally embarrassed I felt like an idiot a 16 17 year old me just didn't even think about how he could focus on improving that instead he just hoped that he'd never have to read again and you can't go throughout your whole entire life not actually being able to read and that's really when I sort of thought about it and I said you know what I'm going to start reading and I think there was this podcast I was listening to and it had this author in called Matthew Walker who basically wrote a book called Why We Sleep talking about why we sleep and how to get better sleep and all of that. And so I thought, you know what? I went onto Amazon and I paid like $12 for the book and in a couple of days it came to me. Great, I had the book, I could finally start reading and at that time I didn't even really want to start reading to get actually better at reading. I wanted to do it just to actually get the information. And so the book came in and I slowly started reading a couple pages a day, 10 pages before I went to bed, something like that. And, you know, it probably took me two to three months to finish the book, but I finally finished the book. I'm like, wow, that's the first time I've actually read a book in my life. What the heck? And then after that, there was another book I saw online. I was highly recommended. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get that. And I started reading that book and the information that it provided was amazing. And I thought, this is so cool. You know, I'm going to start highlighting. I'm going to start writing notes. I can actually apply this to my own life. How cool is that? Anyways, I finished the second book. And basically after that, I just start enjoying reading. Not because the enjoyment you get out of it, but I guess sort of the knowledge that you can actually get from reading. And after that, I started reading, you know, the basic books like Atomic Habits, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, 48 Laws of Power, how to win friends and influence people and a range of other books and I'll be honest like I think I made a mistake reading those books too soon and I'll explain why reading a book like 48 laws of power has literally 48 laws on how you can gain power over people and for me an 18 or 19 year old kid who doesn't even have a functioning business yet 90 five percent of those laws aren't actually going to apply to me because I have no real world experience and then I listened to Alex Hormozzi talk about this and he said you should never start by reading something or watching something or listening to something reading a book watching a YouTube video on it or listening to a podcast about starting something you need to first actually start that thing and then afterwards and when you're actually walking forward, maybe it, maybe it might not be in the exact right direction. You might be off by a few degrees. But then after, you can sort of use the books and the videos to sort of redirect your course slightly and get you going in the right direction, moving as quickly as you possibly can. And I guess the reasoning behind this is when you haven't actually done any of these things in real life, you don't have any anchor points to attach the knowledge from the books you're reading to your actual real life situation if that makes sense and so most of the information goes into your head and then it stays there for a couple of days but then after that it sort of just floats away and you don't really retain any of it now of course you can sort of highlight in your book and you can even like write some notes on your computer but for the most part if you don't take action on that straight away within a couple of days you're never going to take action on those on those books or what you learn now don't get me wrong i have probably read maybe 15 yeah i'd say 15 books now this year maybe 20 books this year and i can 100 percent say that my confidence reading out loud the speed of which i actually read things in my head has all improved 
And I think my vocabulary has also improved as well. Now, it's nowhere near as sophisticated as other people's, but it is getting better compared to where it was. And these are evergreen skills that you need to have in your life to become successful. So I'm glad that I can actually like properly read now, but the only real mistake I made was reading books at the wrong time. And I'll kind of explain why. So when you read these books, you don't have anything, any sort of knowledge to tether the information to. And for something like Why We Sleep or a book about sleeping, it's good because I can literally make those changes within two days. If there's a supplement they recommend, I can go on to Amazon and buy that supplement. If there's a sort of change in my routine that they recommend, I can go and make that change straight away. Or another good example is a book like Atomic Habits. You know, like you can work on doing habit stacking and you can make that change as of now or as of tomorrow and you can start stacking habits on top of each other and getting into the routine of doing that. And that's a really, really good idea and you can apply it to your life right away. But reading something like The 48 Laws of Power or any anything business related or money related, it's not going to apply to your life right now. Like you're not going to be able to take that information and use it right now. You're going to be able to use it in the future. But when you are able to use it in the future, that's when you should really read and study and understand that book. But for the time being, when you're just trying to get the foundations right, I don't see, I don't think, I think that's really a mistake I made with reading certain books is I read them at the wrong time. I read them too early in my journey and I probably would have got value from reading other books that explained to me that sort of resonated with where I was right now in my journey, you know, like as a young entrepreneur trying to make his way in the world. I can't be reading books that are up here, high level books like How to Win Friends, Influence People, 48 Laws of Power, because you have to be up on this level to actually make them apply to your life and actually really get things going. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a few chapters in each of those books that I have been able to apply to my life and it has been able to greatly benefit me. But for the time I spent actually reading those books, the return on investment from those few chapters probably isn't worth it. And so I really think you need to be, I guess, super selective with the books you initially read. And then sort of as your life transforms, you can sort of change the actual level of books that you do read to high level ones. And with this whole, I guess, learning philosophy of reading a book, you actually need to start something, whether it's making a YouTube channel, you need to collect data and ultimately fail and not get the results you want. Then you need to learn, okay, what have I done wrong? What can I do better? And that's where reading, watching and listening comes in. And then with that new information, you can act on it immediately or within 48 hours. And then again, restart the whole cycle where you're collecting more data with a more refined approach. And then after you've collected the data, you can see, did this improve? Did this not improve? Did this get better? Did this not? And then from there, you can sort of say, okay, this general strategy works. Let me keep applying that to my life. This didn't. Let me scrap that. You know what I mean? And the same with business or any sort of psychological manipulation books like 48 Laws of Power or Persuasion or How to Win Friends Influence People. You actually have to apply those laws and those principles to your real life for them to work. And if you don't, then they're just going to sit in the back of your head and eventually they're going to get lost in all the other information that's coming in. And it's not going to benefit you whatsoever. I think if I was to do reading all again, I'd definitely sort of order different books at different times. So if I was talking to my younger self, I'd 100% say the two best books I've read at the moment that have sort of helped me the most in my life have been Atomic Habits and a book called Time Power. I'll leave them down below in the description and they're pretty cheap. And then you really just need to, after that, pick books that you're obsessed with so let's say my I was talking to my 16 year old self or even my younger brother and he was obsessed with going to the gym I'd say to him dude buy five books on how to build muscle how to eat better how to get better recovery all of that and I would just say get absolutely obsessed with this one topic and as you're obsessed with that topic you can apply all of this information to your life and sort of track it over time and get data and get results from that and see how they stack up compared to where you were doing before and see if the information you've actually got is better than the information you had before. And then that way you can sort of make your own judgment on that information. Another good example might be something like 
if you're trying to get a job in sales, I would 100% say like you need to read 10 books or watch 10 courses or 10 podcasts on how to get better at sales. And I think you should clump all of those, that one skill together and you should just hyper obsess with that one skill for a month, for two months. And just, you'll see if you, if you read like one book on going to the gym and then one book on how to talk to girls and then one book on business and then another book on sales skills, you're not going to get anywhere. But if you sort of hyper-focus all of that down into a couple of months and every day you say to yourself, like, this is a non-negotiable, say say if it's like um, sales, you know, like this is a non-negotiable, I'm going to go knock on five doors every single day and I'm going to apply what I've learned last night and I'm going to record them and I'm going to write down what worked, what didn't work, all of that. And again, another example might be the gym. You know, I'm going to write down exactly exactly what they recommend doing. And then next time I'm in the gym, I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to stick with that for, you know, four weeks and then see if I get any strength or weight gains or muscular gains or whatever it is. The point is you need to clump all of this knowledge into sort of one little ball, a hyper-concentrated ball. And that's just that so- the source of knowledge that you need to take. And I think especially with uni, you know, you have four subjects or school even, you have like six subjects and your focus is off here and here and here and here and here and you don't know what to do. But I think now that I'm outside of school and I'm just focusing on one or two things, you can really just distill all of that down into this nice concentrated ball and you can just focus on that specific ball and not focus on anything else instead. Anyway, went completely off tangent there, but that's all I really have to say for today. So as you can see, I'm back out in the cold again. The smoke coming out. It is cold. I need to get inside, eat, and then go to work. And I'll edit this video tonight. Go up. The daily uploads are staying strong. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video.